just quickly, 90% of the people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So if you could subscribe, that'd actually mean a lot. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like my content. So anyway, enjoy the video. So the first effect that I'm going to show you is the desaturation or monochrome effect. And to do that, what you want to do is you just want to go to your effects tab and then in the search bar, you just want to search Lumetri color. And then you just want to drag this onto your clip. And then what you want to do is you want to come over to your effects panel on the left, scroll down basic correction, go to the very bottom and then where it says saturation, just get to where you want it to start going dark. I usually like to start near towards the start of the clip, but it's good to use like a, um, an audio marker. So if there's like a bit in the song where something changes or something, then you can start there. So I'll have a listen. So I'm going to start it there. So right there, about when I start charging my pump. I think that sounds good. So what you want to do is you want to go over here, click toggle animation, and then keep the saturation at 100, and then go just before the kill. So just before I get the kill here, I'm going to put the saturation to about 20. Maybe a little bit more, I'm going to go 30 actually. And then you just want to go with your arrow key, you want to go one frame ahead to where the kill is um, actually gotten. I've already put effects on the kill, so if you want to uh, put effects first, then do that, and then do this afterwards and then it gives you a better marker of where the kill happens so as soon as your effects go on you just want to go over here scroll this back up to 100 and then that is literally that effect done so yeah that's the desaturation effect the brightness and contrast effect so to do that you just want to search up color correction and then down color correction, you just want to go to brightness and contrast and then drag onto the clip. And then what you can do is roughly where you start desaturating, you want to place a keyframe on brightness. Then you want to go one frame before the kill once again. And you just want to decrease this brightness down to about 100. So down all the way down. And you just want to go one more and go back to zero again. And this is this is uh, roughly what uh, LMGK uses. I don't really like doing it with the brightness. I like doing it with the opacity on the clip. So I think that looks smoother. But this is what this looks like. Yeah, that's what that looks like. This is what it looks like though if I were to show you with the um, using the clip opacity. So we'll just go to about the same point. And then I'm gonna press control and then click on this line that you'll see, which is the opacity line. So press control then click on the line where you want it and go all the way to one frame before the kill and then press on the line again and then drag this one down to about 30 percent and then press right in front of it again and then bring it back up all the way and then make sure it's one frame afterwards and this is what this will look like instead of uh, using brightness and contrast yeah i sort of prefer this one but you can actually use both at the same time and this is what it'll look like but yeah i think using both of them at the same time is probably your best bet along with the um along with the uh, lumetri color but yeah anyway, those are those are the two main effects that you can really do without any um without anything special but there is a different effect that i like to use and let me just turn off these ones really quickly so you can see it another sapphire effect so you just want to go s underscore film damage now if you want the sapphire effects i'll leave a link in the description but just remember that it is paid but um so you, what you want to do is you want to go s underscore film damage and then you want to drag it onto your clip and it should look it should have lots of uh, stuff on it what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the grain turn off the stain density turn off the hairs turn off the scratches turn off the vignette darkness turn off the flicker and you'll just be left with uh, these, the dust. And what you want to do is you want to go to roughly the same place that you were going down from before. Then you just want to keyframe the dust density, put it to zero. Go just before the kill. So it, once again, one frame before the kill is where I usually do it. And then just increase this to about to about 50, maybe, uh, maybe 75. It really depends. And then on the kill, put it back to zero again. And this is just a little build up and I'll show you what this looks like. Now this this one is not really very good on its own. You really want to um have it with the uh, brightness and contrast and the desaturation. So I'll show you what this looks like with it all together. So yeah, that looks a lot better with all the um effects together, really, in my opinion. And I actually think this looks better without the brightness and contrast and just with the uh, desaturation. So this is what this looks like. 
So yeah, those are the, those are the main effects really for build-ups that you see used quite commonly. But there's another effect slightly less common in highlights videos. It's much more common in um, Fortnite um, montages though. And that is lens distortion. So you just want to go type in lens distortion and then you just want to find lens distortion under distort. You just want to drag it onto the clip. Then you want to go, this this one needs to be slightly less frames before the kill. So don't put it quite as far back. And then um, just go all the way down. And then click on curvature just before the kill. Not too far before the kill this time because um, it's quite a jarring effect. And then obviously one frame before the kill, you want to increase this or decrease this, sorry probably about 20 or, or probably minus 10 decrease it to about minus 10 and then as you get the kill put it back to zero again so this is what it should look like back and this is what it should look like with every single effect on it but I think this needs a little bit more time, probably. So actually, yeah, let's put it back to where these start and see what happens. But yeah, I think it definitely looks better much closer and maybe with minus 20 in as well, actually. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Like, subscribe, all that, and I'll see you in the next one.